Two heads, same block, but which one's right for you? Today we're pitting the M111 EVO against the pre-EVO cylinder head and we're going to break down the differences to find out which one is the perfect match for you. Stay tuned. So let's start with the most obvious difference between these two heads and that is the massive difference in the size of the intake ports. So on the M111 EVO you can see that they are virtually twice the width of the original M111 pre-EVO engine and that is because they designed this engine to be a bit more revvy, have a bit more top end than the torquey low down version that was its predecessor. So if you're going for higher horsepower numbers then it's probably a bright idea to change the head to an EVO head. It was designed to flow more air whereas the pre-EVO was designed to be more of a torquey motor and not really sit up by that red line. So, camshafts, unfortunately I can't measure these accurately enough to give you an idea of whether there is a difference in lift and duration, but what I can tell you is from rudimentary measurements they appear to have the same kind of profile. But, they are different, and that is because the EVO engine actually picks up its camshaft position sensor signal from this counterweight looking thing here, and the sensor sits on top of the valve cover as you may have seen. On the pre-EVO engine, the camshaft position sensor actually sits here and picks up off the sprocket itself. So, the weird thing is, is there's still actually a nub-like thing on this camshaft exactly where the counterweight is on this camshaft. So, could you interchange them? Probably, I don't actually see a visible reason why not, but I don't know for sure and whether there'd actually be any point in that. Now it should be noted that obviously there are different part numbers on these two camshafts and that is because they are essentially different parts obviously due to the pickup situation. So despite the actual change in the intake ports the valves themselves actually remained the same size so you've got a 35mm intake valve two per cylinder and a 30mm exhaust valve again two per cylinder these are 16 valve engines. The combustion chamber itself looks to be the same size, I've measured the depth, rudimentary test, I've not sat fluid in there to work out the exact cc's, but by rough measurement and by eye, they look to be identical, despite the M111 EVO actually having slightly higher compression ratio than the predecessor before it. So other little subtle things that changed was actually the ignition system and that was to do with the change in engine management from Bosch on the pre-EVO to the Siemens management unit that controls the EVO engine and this was done just for a variety of things from making it more economical, more reliable and just modernising it overall. So in this previous version the M111 975 or any pre-EVO M111 they used two coils and two HT leads, so you'd have coil bolted there, coil bolted there, and a HT lead coming away from that into the other cylinder. So you had like uh, uh, essentially two coil on plugs and two HT leads going to the coil on plug setup. So on the Evo, they actually switched to a coil on plug design for all cylinders, which ultimately just changed a bit of spacing on things like the spark cover. So if you actually want to fit the spark cover from a pre-EVO to an EVO engine, you can't actually do that because the holes move position slightly. Not, no not noticeable to the untrained eye, but as soon as you try it, you figure it out pretty quickly. Yes, I made that mistake. So, which one's right for you? Well, it depends on your application and the depth that you are going into with your build. I'm going full standalone management, which makes it a lot easier for me to use this cylinder head on my engine because all of it's going to be custom made to work together. Whereas, you will probably have trouble making this head work on an earlier pre-EVO engine with the standard management because obviously this management system was Siemens this one was Bosch, the sensor's in a different location, how much of a difference that makes, I couldn't tell you, I've never tried it, but I wouldn't try it either. So, it depends on your horsepower figure as well. If you're shooting for around 350 horsepower and you've got a pre-EVO engine, this will support that horsepower level okay. You may get a bit choked up by the cams, but I wouldn't expect too much more than that from that head. This head could achieve probably around 
400, 450, maybe even 500, but it would get choked up by the camshafts. That said, I'm using this head again because I'm going full standalone and I want the larger ports to give me that flexibility to shoot for the higher horsepower numbers. If you were to have a M111 Evo and want to turbo it yourselves, be cautious because the rods are quite a bit different. So this is a rod from a Evo engine and this is a rod from a pre-Evo engine. You can see the difference in the amount of material around those rod bolts. Which one's more likely to throw itself out of the engine first? But that said, both of these heads will work. It just depends on how much power you are shooting for and how much work you want to put in. If you're doing a completely custom build, definitely swap the head. Why not? You're going to have it all apart anyway to put an MLS head gasket in. I will go for this head all day long on a fully custom build. If you're wanting to stick with your Bosch management and keep it simple, stick with your original head. Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. This will be fine for those lower horsepower numbers, but still fairly impressive for a little four-cylinder from the 90s. That said, I hope this helps. I hope this clears some things up. Sorry I couldn't give you an accurate measurement of the cams, but realistically... They look pretty damn close. That said, leave a comment below. Which one would you choose? And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Help us grow. Help us reach more people. We appreciate every single one of you that are following along the journey so far. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.